Hi, this is Joe, and I'll, today I'll be reviewing the OXA laser distance meter. And let me tell you, folks, this is this thing is awesome. Um, come in here, open it up. I've had it out. I've been playing around with it. I want to show you the size of this. Look at this. It fits. Fits right in the palm of your hand. Um, so it's tiny. Um, it's lightweight. Uh, you got to. Uh, you do need to provide. I would like to. I would have liked it if they did provide their batteries with it. Um, I always like it when manufacturers that sell your products that require batteries provide those batteries with the product when you get it. That way, you don't get the product. You get home and you're all set to use it, and then you got to realize, ah, oh, I got to go run out to 7-Eleven, go buy some batteries real quick, and then I can uh, get this thing going. Um, so, oops, I popped that in the wrong way. So, popping that back in. Yeah, let's go through the features of this now. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that display, but that. Let's try to take measurements. The display is really, really nice. Um, let's go through it. You can take it, your different units here. Uh, let's see if you can say meter. Hold it down. You got. 59 and 1 16th inches. It goes all the way down to the 1 16th. That's 4.925 feet, or the one I prefer, 4 feet 11 inches and 1 16th. Now, I want you to also take a look at the back here. You can also take measurements. This is a nice feature. You can take measurements from the back of the feet, the back of the meter. That's what's indicated here. Uh, if you can see it, so you got the back of the meter, or you can switch it to the front of the meter again. See if you can see it takes from the front of the meter or the back of the mirror. This is going to be awesome because it's going to allow you to um, either you know take a measurement from the front or the back of the meter. So um, it adds for flexibility. It's not it's not you know it's not <laughs> a critical f failure of this would be if it only took it from the front of the meter. And I'm trying to measure the distance distance between two walls, and I, I got this butted up against one wall, and I got this is the other wall, and it's telling me it's 20 feet. Well, then it'd be 20 feet minus this distance because it's to the top of this. So um, that is a key feature of it. Again, the different units, 4 feet 11. Look at that. It's got a real nice backlit blue screen. I really like that. Um, that way you can see it in the dark. Um, you hold it down. It changes through the different meter settings. Now, one of the things I did not like about this is that it does not retain that Setting. So what I have to do is every time I turn it on and off again, let's see, let's see, let's say I set it here, and let's see what we're on. We're on the inches setting. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to turn it back on. It initializes, boom, and it goes back to the meter setting. So I really wish now I have to go back and I have to change it to the inches setting. And you just hit measure. You can hear it clicking. That's when it takes a measurement. If you set it like this, it has a continuous measuring mode. So I can go like this now. This is this is eight and three eighths inches. That's an error. This is ten and one eighth inches. See, so when it makes that sound. It does a continual measuring and measuring and measuring and measuring, so you don't have to keep hitting it. But if you do just want to do a hard distance, um, you know, again, let's see if I can show you this laser. Um, you can just grab it like that and hold it. So um, it's got a battery indicator on the 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 top. There's also some other cool little functions built into it. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, over, what it'll allow you to do is it'll allow you to, um, you can actually take uh, triangular measurements and it'll calculate uh, the triangle. Um, there's also um, some vertical measurements. So um, there's actually some neat little functionality built in here where if you measure, uh, to you know, if you measure the vertex of a wall, and then you measure 
uh, the bottom, it'll actually calculate the distance between the two points, so you'll know that that's the height of the wall. So it's got some really neat stuff like that built into it. Um, again, this is small, it's portable. Um, I wish it came with like maybe a little bag to put it into to store it, um, just so I could protect this. This is the laser, and I don't want it to get scratched up, so for, for the time being, I'm gonna be installing it, or keeping it in this little case so I don't mess, mess it up. But uh, other than that, uh, it's a great size. Uh, I found that, again, the, the accuracy was very spot on. Um, now this, I believe it goes up to, up to 30 meters, which is you know, meters longer than the feet. So that's over 90, 90 you know, it's probably close, probably close to 100 feet. Um, so um, that's like really good. So, um, you know, it's going to save you a lot of time from having to use a tape measure. <laughs> That's for darn sure, especially when you're measuring uh, longer distances. So uh, I tested it out at the longer distances. I tested out short distances, medium distances. Um, all those measurements, I went back and I redid them with the tape measure, and they were pretty much spot on. So, uh, again, you can see it goes down to the 1 16th of an inch. That is crazy accuracy. Um, this is an outstanding product from OXA. I am thoroughly... Uh, elated with them uh, for being able to give me a, a product review to uh, test and sample and then provide my uh, unbiased feedback. So uh, OXA did an excellent job with this product. Uh, if you're considering getting a laser distance measure, this is, uh, this is a strong contender. Thanks again for watching.